2x minus 1. We can tell two things already from this equation. We have a plus c part. This one's plus, uh, minus 1. So that tells us that it's going to go through minus 1 on the vertical. Okay? We can see here it's 2x. That's a 2. So what should my pattern be? If 3 was going up by 3s, what will the 2 be? Going up by 2s. Okay? So we already have some information we can use while we're doing this problem. Same table of values again. I'm going to use some negative numbers in my one this time, just to um, change it up a little. Let's do that today. Alright, so my equation is 2x minus 1. And I chuck a minus 2 in for x, I get 2 times minus 2 minus 1. So what will the y be? 12. So I've got 2 times minus 2, which is minus 4. Minus 4 minus 1 is minus 5. Wait, what? Oh, uh, yeah, we're going backwards. Because we're going backwards. Yeah, Alright, when we're going in the negatives, we go backwards. Good observation, see. Minus 1. Can I put in minus 1 for x? Negative 3. Put in 0? Negative 1. 1? 1. Is it 1? Yep, it's 1. 3. 6. 5. 4. Good. You just did the opposite. Alright, it's not necessarily just doing the opposite. But, is my pattern working? Yes. Yeah. I'm going up by 2's, aren't I? So I know I've done this correctly. Okay. So again, we just find our coordinate pairs. I'm going to have some negatives both ways, so I need to make sure I include that. I'm going to make sure that we're keeping the x scale the same. Make sure you keep the y scale the same. We're going up by twos, but we're using odd numbers, so I probably won't go too far with that. But we're only going from minus 5 to 5, so it should be too, 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 too much. So we just do our coordinate pairs. So remembering that this is the pair, there's a pair, they're all our pairs, so they're all where our dots are going to be. So our first dot's going to be at minus 2, minus 5, so we'll go across to minus 2, then minus 5. They're at minus 1, minus 3, 0, minus 1, so that's where that minus 1 here in the equation is coming to it. Alright, so that's right there. Then one, one, two, three, and three, five. Okay, so notice how I'm doing my x number first, then my y number. So I go across, whichever way across I need to go, and then I go either up or down depending on what the y number is. Use be blue. Right, and then hopefully using a ruler, you'll get a nice straight line. It's okay, I'll do it for you. And hopefully yours is a little bit straighter than mine. This one's like a bird up at it. I'm getting started. I'm tired. Well, where the fuck is wrong? So we're going to do exercise 8A. You need to come and grab a textbook. Uh, so guys, these are the levels, uh, so if you're only wanting to do level 1, it's 2, 3, 4, level 2 is also 7 and 8, and level 3 for those who are aiming for a band 5 or 6, need to get up to um, question 9. Oh. Uh, 296 is the page. Oh, you went to When did I?